Okay, what we see here, and what we're going to do in this video, is I'm going to show you how to deal with circles involving central angles and arc measure. Okay, what you're given in this particular problem, you're given a circle. I gave you the measurement of this arc ED. It's x plus 56. I gave you the measurement of arc DC. It's x plus 136. What I want you to do is I want you to figure out exactly how many degrees ED is. We don't know exactly how many degrees it is because we know that there's this variable x in here. I don't know how many degrees this is yet either. I have to solve for x first. So for circle A, we need to figure out what x is. To do this, there's two facts we need to be aware of. Every circle, if you go all the way around it, starting at b and going back to b, around, has 360 degrees in it. Okay. If I add up all of the arc measures going all the way around, I'll get 360. Or if I add up all of the central angle measures, I'll get 360. The other thing you need to know is that if you have half of a circle or a semicircle, for instance, from B to E to D, this semicircle here or this semicircle, DCB, that has half of the arc measure in it. Instead of 360, it's 180. It's only half of a circle. It's a semicircle. So we need to look at what we have here. For ED, like I said earlier, I gave you this arc x plus 56. For DC, I give you this arc, x plus 136. And if we trace that, we see that we have a semicircle. So I know that the arc measure for this should be 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do, since I know these add up to 180, they're supplementary, I'm going to say x plus 56 plus x plus 136 equals 180. And we're going to solve that equation. So let's do that. Let's write x plus 56, I'm going to actually put the board down just for a second, x plus 56 plus x plus 136 equals 180. Okay, just like that. Just like we always do. All right, all I did was I took these arc measures, I added them together, and they should equal 180 together because it's half of a circle. At this point, all you have to do is the same thing that we always do. Combine like terms and solve for x. So on the left side here, I see x and I see x. So I know if I add up x and another x, I should get 2x. So I'm going to write 2x beneath that. The other thing we see, we see 56 and we see 136. Well, I know if I add them, I'm going to get 192. So plus 192. can't combine anything else, so I brought down my equal sign. Can't do anything on the right side of the equal sign, it's just 180, so I'll bring that down. 180. Moving right along, I need to get x alone. Well, there's this 2 on this side, there's also this 192, they both need to go away. I need to isolate x, so to do that, I'm going to first get rid of this 192. Since it was being added, I have to do the opposite. I'll subtract it from the left side of the equal sign. And then if I do it to the left, I have to do it to the right. So I'm going to subtract 192 here as well. And these will cancel. On the left side now, all I have left is this 2x. So I'll bring that down. 2x. I have to bring down my equal sign, of course. On the right side, I've got 180 minus 192. Well, 180 minus 192. It's going to give me a negative number. It's negative 12. And then to solve this, we've solved plenty of equations like this. 2 times some number gives me negative 12. To get rid of this 2, since it was multiplying, we're going to use division. I'm going to divide by 2 here, divide by 2 here, so my 2's will cancel, leaving me with x. Bring down my equal sign. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Okay, so I know that x is negative 6, and every time I figure out what x is, I always plug it back in. So here, arc ED was x plus 56. Well, now I know x is negative 6. So I'm going to say negative 6 plus 56. Well, negative 6 plus 56 is 50. All right, I know if the arc is 50, then so is the central angle. Angle EAD is 50. Sorry, that's a little sideways. Let me fix that. That's a little better, 50. I also know arc DC was x plus 136. Now I know that x is negative 6, so I'm going to plug it in right there. This will say negative 6 plus 136. Well, that's 130. 
and I know the arc is the same as the central angle, so this is also 130. Okay, so we can pretty much answer this question now, the measure of arc ED, that's right here. Well, we said it, it's 50. So the answer there is 50. Let me pick that up. That answer was easy, arc ED is 50. You see that pretty plainly. The other question was arc CED. This one's a little tougher. C, go all the way around the circle to E, and then to D. We only know this section. We don't quite know this section. There's two ways we can do it, and we'll do it right now. We know that if we know this angle, DAE, we should know angle CAB. These two angles are the same. They're vertical. So if this is 50, so is that. So I can fill in a 50 there. And then alternatively, a 50 down here for its arc. Same thing with this 130. I know this angle, so I know its vertical angle. This here is 130. Okay, so this is 130 degrees, so is its arc, 130 degrees. Now, I shouldn't have any trouble figuring out what angle, I'm sorry, arc CED is. C to E to D. You see, I went along the 50 degree arc, the 130 degree arc, and then another 50 degree arc. So 50 plus 130 plus 50, when I add them up, these add up to 180. 180 plus 50 is 230 degrees. So arc CED is 230 degrees. That's what she'll put right here. And that's how it's done. There was one other way you could have gotten arc CED. Since you wanted this section of the circle, right here, we didn't want this section. We just wanted this. Since we knew this part was 130, and the entire circle is 360, well, if we just cut this part out by subtracting it, 360 minus 130 is 230. So, I mean, either way you'll get 230. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. All right? That's how you do a semicircle. I will show you how to do a full circle in another video. Thanks for watching.